Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Sense. If you're new here, my name's Allison, your independent Sensi consultant, and today I have with me Maddie. Hello. And we are going to share with you what we've been getting through Sensi wise for the first half of July, <laughs> which is just totally crazy. So let's get started. Um, I actually don't have a whole lot of wax here, but I have it's a couple. It's a lot. Yeah, I have a couple <laughs> non-wax items that we're going to talk about first. And the oh, first yeah. is cotton cleanups. So I got cotton cleanups for the first time in my um, June Scentsy Club. As far as I know, it's still sold out on the website and only available through Scentsy Club. But these things are awesome. You want to show them what they are and how they yeah. work? Okay, so you get these cotton balls and... Usually what we need, what we use two, cotton, two normal cotton balls to get all our wax out of our dish ready for our new bar. Um, but these are actually really handy and they are going to set up all your cubes of wax. Even if you have four, it's just going to suck it right up like magic. So it comes like this and you might be like, do I have to hold it like this and dip it in? But no. There's this little flap up top that you're going to pull up, like so, and you're just going to dip it in your dish and let it sit there. My hand's the dish. And then, like, take it around on a little trip through your dish, and then take it out, and there's no more wax in there. So. Yeah, and what it is is it's just, like, really, really dense cotton, and so it just soaks it up. And I can get probably, like, three full-size warmers with two cubes each in them so what is that like six cubes of wax with one of these and even in my mini warmers i'll set it like sideways and it'll soak up on the mm. side so yeah that's a good idea these are awesome and like maddie said it's nice that it has the handle because you don't like with cotton balls you kind of worry about it getting on your hands the cotton and the wax yeah, or it dripping it this. but sometimes so this is nice when you have like a whole bunch of warmers going at once and you just want to go change out your wax this is quick and easy yeah. i love them um i i never tried them before but i think i'm sold on them so these are cotton cleanups um i think they come out to about maybe 50 cents of a cotton cleanup or less um, but yeah, those are really nice. I like those. Um, and then the next non-wax item we have. Oh. I'm not through this. Um, <laughs> it's so wax. I actually just opened it um, a couple days ago. So I have um, all-purpose cleaner in aloe water and cucumber, which I really like. And I picked this up a while ago, and I hadn't tried it yet. So... When my aloe water and cucumber ran out of a bottle, I tried this. This is our all-purpose cleaner, Concentrate. So it's a concentrate, and it says dilute before using. So you fill up a spray bottle, like a counter clean size bottle, with a quarter this and three quarters water. So you don't want to just dump all of this yeah. in. You need to, to dilute it. And so it's a really good bottle. value for your money. I think it comes up to like three bucks a bottle. That's good. And, okay, so before I had tried this I got a bar of blue grotto to try in wax I'm like it's okay I had it in my open concept I didn't mind it but it wasn't like earth shattering or anything yeah. but I actually like it a lot better in the all-purpose concentrate it's really really good to me when I have it in on um, this when I spray it I pick up on papaya I pick up a lot of papaya and um, it reminds me of the scent beach so if you like beach, um, I recommend trying this in the cleaner. I did not pick that up in the wax, and I don't know if it's because it was like in my open concept or what, but um, I pick up different notes in the in the cleaner, and I really really like it. So hmm. sold. Is it strong? Yeah, it is. It's pretty strong. It's really good. Okay, so I think we have to try it. Have wax pretty much. Yeah. Okay, so. I use Poor Unfortunate Souls. And this is the Villains Wax Collection, I, wax collection, I believe. Um, I right now have two other full size bars. <laughs> They're down here, so they don't get sweaty. And they don't look like soup. But <laughs> uh, I have two cubes left of this. 
Uh, I used to only have one bar, but my mom's friend gave me my second full bar. So, so grateful and definitely be getting through this by the end of the year, for sure. Is that your favorite scent now? Yes, it's my favorite scent. Do you like it more than jammy time? Slightly. Really? Wow. Yeah, it's really good. Mom was like, now that I smell it, I like it more. It's very of a fruity. It's very fruity. It's scent. like a fruity aquatic scent. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, she's been using that in her room. Um, Let's talk about the moment by moment collection. Oh, I use. We, um, I warmed through a little bit of all of these. The five bars in the moment by moment collection, which just came out and it's still available. You want me And to? that's all of them right there. Uh -oh. Yeah. So, okay. let's talk about these. I'm going to start from the bottom. So, we have new happy home. Happy new home. Happy new home. Also, you can go check out... A last Scentsy video? Yeah, we did a video recently on um, cold like sniffs on these. And so now we're telling you once we warmed them what we think. We also rated them. <laughs> so, happy new home. Mom, I'm going to have you describe this because... Okay, I, I used six cubes down here in my basement. Um, two cubes in three different full-size warmers. I really like this. This is like a fresh laundry with a little bit of citrus. Okay. Fresh laundry with citrus. Did you notice any change when you warmed it? Yeah, it's pretty strong, pretty long lasting. Um, I actually still have it down here after a few days. And yeah, it, I would say it's open concept worthy. Really. It's pretty strong. Uh -huh. I really like that one. Um, this is probably, it's a close second for me of my favorite out of the collection. But I think it probably is the strongest out of what I've experienced. So next we have down the aisle. I also didn't warm, but I think it's probably a really light scent. But now that I smell it, it's a little stronger. Yeah. So um, I warmed six cubes of this in my office. I did three and three in element Ooh. warmers. And it's, it's a very pretty scent, but it's very light to my nose. <laughs> it was very light. Um... Almost non-existent. Wait, where did And you I didn't get more than a day out of it in my office. Oh. Which is a small area. So, this is pretty, but like I said, to my nose, it was really light. It was the lightest of the scents. Would you? And, you know, the scent description, it sounded really good. So, I actually picked up two bars of this. This and one oh. more. So, I'm going to let the other one sit and cure for a little bit and try it out, you know, maybe in cooler weather and stuff like that and see if it makes a difference. Maybe try it in a different warmer. That's maybe not an element warmer. Maybe even like a bathroom or something. But Do you think? Um, unfortunately, it wasn't as strong as I was hoping. Do you so. think it'd be good for a bedroom? Down the aisle. What about Possibly. my side bed? My we like could try it. We could try like bedroom. these two cubes in there and see. Okay. Speaking of my bedroom, I warmed two cubes of Welcome Little One. I, this is still a very light scent. I didn't really notice a change of scent in my room when I warmed it, though. I it, could notice it when I walked in, but, but it wasn't, like, like, really strong. And it I wasn't could see like, how boom. you would get used to it in there really fast. Yeah. Um, so this is, um, it's like a comforting laundry scent. I would, yeah. uh, I think it has a laundry note to it. It does, it does. It's kind of. Reminds me of baby powder just a little bit. Mm. Just like, just a little Maybe, bit. Maybe, but it's not like really powdery. No, but, it's not. Um, it's nice, and it is stronger than down the aisle. It, but it, I think um, there's still other scents that are similar to this that I like a little more. Like Jammy Time or jammy time for sure. even Fuzzy Blanket. Cuddle Up, Snuggle Up, whatever it is. Um, but this is nice. And I think it'd be really nice for, you know, a new baby room. Um, I'm going to gift this to my future nephew. <laughs> to your nephew. Yeah, well, he is my nephew, but yeah. Okay. Yes. The next one is, sorry, birthday wishes. And mom, I believe you used all eight cubes. I did. Did I you like it? Eight. I did. <laughs> so at first I just put in, it's a bakery. 
it's, it's so good. So it good. smells like you're baking a cake. First, I just put in, I think, four cubes. And um, it was really, really nice. It was just this slight background scent of someone baking a cake. Like a realistic yeah. level of smell of someone baking a cake. And then, I think it was the next day, I put in the rest of it in warmers in the area because it was starting to fade. So that's the only thing is I will say that I didn't feel like this lasted so long. I got, oh, if sorry. you want like to really be able to smell it, I got maybe a solid day. Mm -hmm maybe two but first yeah. day was pretty pretty good um it was the perfect level of bakery for me because it was just like a background bakery scent like you're baking a cake oh. like it seriously seemed like if you walked in the door someone was baking a cake it feels like it'd be a very like on cold seems like it'd be a very strong scent last for weeks but I'm surprised it didn't. I don't think it's as strong as Happy Birthday, but I think it's no, better than Happy Birthday. It, it is. It smells better. It, it's it. sweeter. Like, it doesn't have that weird kind of chocolate note to it that Happy Birthday has. This is just sweet white cake with vanilla frosting, and the description said rainbow sprinkles. That's what I imagined it as, like yeah. a cake that was vanilla, vanilla frosting, and like... So this is good. I'm I'm not a huge bakery fan normally but i really like this and i think i might put this in my club because it is a bakery that i really like mm -hmm. and then last but definitely not least from this collection was graduation so it looks like mom used four cubes and that means four cubes are left Ooh. yeah Seems like a light scent. So, um, I don't know that I can give you like a full review of this because I just put this in my bedroom today. Um, two cubes in my bedroom, two cubes in my master bath. It's really nice. I didn't really no. get, so in the beginning, the top notes, I didn't really get like the leather or the apple at all. I got like a vanilla, a vanilla, well, maybe a vanilla suede. If you guys remember vanilla suede, similar to that, but it actually reminded me more of Pacific sandalwood, at least on the top notes. Now I don't know how it's going to smell as it, you know, gets down to the mid and base notes, but I actually really like it on the top notes. It's a medium it's in terms medium. of performance, um, but it's really nice in the bedroom and I really like it and I think it would be nice for fall. What if it was stronger? Do you think you'd like it more? I don't know. I think for the kind of vibe you're going, like the cozy vibe, it, it works. Like yeah. you don't want it too strong. Cozy. It's kind of like a cozy floral. Fall kind of just getting into fall transitioning. Yeah, transitioning to fall. It's a nice set. Okay. Yeah. So that was the moment by moment collection. Um, out of those, I really love birthday wishes. I'll probably put that in my club. And I also really like happy new home. And I may put that in my club or at least pick up some more. Okay, moving on. Um, we have, you want to just grab oh, one and I'll talk love. about it? I see this one. Oh, it's Dumbo. You want to talk about that? I actually used a bar and a half of this. I mean, yeah, a bar and a half um, of Dumbo. Dumbo Circus Parades. You want to hold that up? Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's, uh... It's same animation, basically. Like, like I have an old catalog that tells the scent notes in it. Because this was in the catalog. It retired last fall, winter. So good. I'll let me yeah. give you the notes here. I remember I used to not like it that much. I was like, when mom first put it in the warmer, I was like, no. No, I'm not coming in my Emily's room because that's where she put it. But now I'm like. So it, it's really in the good. citrus category, and it's described as, Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest scent on earth, featuring sweet clementine, creamy peach, fresh mango, and vanilla bean. I remember. So, that. you know, there's certain scents that really just, like, put you in a good mood, as weird as that sounds. This is my pick-me-up. This mm -hmm. scent puts me in a good mood. So I've been warming it in it my office hot. because it's been really 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 hectic for me with work it's it's been yeah but <laughs> it's been yeah sensi is my joy sensi is what brings me 
um, happiness and especially Dumbo Circus Parade. So things are like super stressful at work. I put this in my warmer and I'm like, you know what? It's all good. This is really, really just invigorating, fruity, tropical, wonderful scent. I love it so much. It and what we're thinking of doing, and we'll let you guys know how it turns Ooh, out, we yeah. are thinking of mixing uh, Ursula. Poor Unfortunate Souls with Dumbo Circus Parade. Yeah, mixing those two. Mom was like, what would it smell like, Maddie, if we mix these? So I don't know if we'll do it in the same warmer or if we'll do it like in alternating warmers. I think the same might do it better. But I kind of want to try it and see, so we'll let you guys know. Okay, moving on. Um... So I finished up a bar of pink haze and this was, look at it, but what the oils did to it. Gave it that yellow tint. Didn't affect the wax performance, but this was in the June 2020 Bring Back My Bar lineup. Um, it is a really nice scent. It's just a nice, soft, cozy, comforting scent. So it kind of is along the lines of like cozy cardigan, that type of thing. Um, a lot of people are just like crazy about it. It is a lighter scent. Um, and it, to me, it was like really light in pods. But I, I finished it up in my younger girl's bedroom and it was pretty nice. I actually just changed it out today. So. <laughs> okay, next scent. You should do. Um, we'll do that next. Okay. I don't remember if I talked about this before or not after I warmed it. Um, but this is uh, Beauty and the Beast, The Last Petal. Uh, this was released with the uh, um, Chip and Mrs. Potts warmer um, and in June. And it is a really nice scent. It's like a grapefruit scent. I mostly get grapefruit, but it's like um, a really nice sweet grapefruit. I almost thought about putting it in my club, but at the very end of warming it, mm. I got a little bit of like a, almost a little bit of like a rancid note. And so to me, that was like, okay, that's enough to justify not putting it in my club because my club's getting a little out of control. <laughs> but I really like it up until then. Um, it is it is pretty nice. So I have two cubes left of that. And it was a decent performer too. Did you like that one, Maddie? Yeah. I mean, I didn't really notice it. In your, I feel like my nose is like, can like barely smell something. But French Kiss, I actually warmed. And every time I entered my bedroom, well like, not in this time, but every time I enter my bedroom, I was like, oh, yes. But with other scents, I'm like, And that's I don't funny because really French Kiss, I couldn't smell at all, not one yeah. bit. So it's funny how everyone's nose picks up different things. So the next one we have is Make a Splash. This was new to the catalog this season. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, this is just a really sweet, fruity one. I think it has melon in it. Maybe like a, a melon aquatic scent. Oh, that's so good. Let me read you the notes. I'm actually not too crazy about it. Like, I think really? that it's almost a little too sweet to me. Um, this yeah. is described as dewy melon and fresh green apple dive into refreshing turquoise waters. Maybe it's a green apple. I'm not 100% crazy about it. I did like it better when I mixed it with, I think it was Plumeria peach. Kind of toned it down. Um, but I, I have two cubes of it going right now in my uh, youngest two girls' bedroom. They like it. I'll finish it up, and I'll be happy with it. Mm. Okay, so now the one that Maddie's been wanting to talk about. I have a bunch of this going Whoa. right now. That's it. I have this. Upstairs. No, I have this. Yep, and this. Oh, so, wait, is this? Yep, that's the same right. way. Oh, yeah. We have, and I had about a half a bar. So oh, I used, so like, good. a bar and a half of Ocean. Plus, um, some testers of it. A little tiny tester and then a bigger tester. And I have this going to my open concept right now in eight warmers. Um, six full size and two mini warmers. Do you have this in your club? I do. I added it oh. to my club because it was in Bring Back My Bar um, last month. And Baby. I love it. Baby. It's just a really nice aquatic scent. And even if you're not big on aquatic, it's really nice. It's not like fruity or anything, it's just aquatic. And um, we have this in laundry. I got it in the clearance section laundry. It's really nice in laundry too. So I love this, it's great. I love Ocean. And it's doing really well. And I, it's a pretty long lasting one Ooh. too. 
Um, okay, we're almost done here. Um, we had a couple testers. I threw these together in my bathroom, um, mixed them together. Watermelon mint, which was in the current bring back, or the most recent bring back my bar. Watermelon mint mixed with lemons and berries. And these are older testers, so they don't always perform the best. Um, but it was nice. It didn't last all that long, and I don't know if it was just because of the testers, but it was a nice mixture. Lemons and berries and watermelon mint. Okay, we have three more to talk about. Oh, but these two go together. Oh, these two? Yeah. Banana Mary and Coconut de Dac Dac So I warmed okay. these in my office. Together? And I think I mixed them okay. within the same warmers. A banana berry and coconut daiquiri. That seems like it'd be good mix. Yeah, because coconut daiquiri also has banana in it, and I actually really liked it. It was like a tropical mm. banana scent. That um, seems like it'd be really good. So coconut daiquiri was in the summer collection, and banana berry was in the Easter collection. So um, I mixed them together, and yeah, it was just a really nice fruity banana tropical scent summary it was fun I, I had fun with it okay the last bar we have is mineral oasis so this was only out for one season as far as i know and um you want to hold it up so they oh, can see yeah. it um that was spring summer of last year where's that catalog i had and it is in the fresh category, I believe. It's pretty nice. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like Iridescent Pearl, but not quite as, it's a little bit stronger. So Mineral Oasis, it is in the, it was in the fresh uh, category and it is Dewy Seagrass and Blooming Os, Os, no, no, no. <laughs> Blooming Osmanthus, which I think is a type of flower. Seagrass, Os, Osmanthus, drift across dreamy turquoise waters. So like a uh, kind of a floral aquatic. Ooh, I wonder how that would be mixed with Ursula. We should wow. smell them next to each other. Mm. I had that in my bedroom and master bath, and it was nice. It was about a medium, but Mom, in terms of performance. I think we nice. just found a match. Ooh, match made in heaven. I think that would go really good together. Mineral Oasis and Ursula Pond Fortune Souls. And I do have one bar left of Mineral Oasis, so we're gonna have to try that. Is that all? That's it. Um, I I'm loading them back up. I feel like I didn't get through a whole lot, but I, I mean, mid July really kind of snuck up on me. So I'm trying to warm more full bars and not, so I don't have like a whole bunch of partial clamshells. Um, we're getting ready to transition into fall winter catalog Yay! and I want to kind of do an inventory and see what I have. And so we might do a video of um, like showing you my stash. If you guys might be interested, I don't know. Comment down below if you think that sounds like something you might want to see. Um, and that way I can determine what I want to order. But what I was getting at is um, it takes up a lot of room to have, you know, clamshells and have, like two cubes in them. So yeah. trying to get through those. Um, that's it. We will touch base again with what we've been warming at the end of the month. It's going to be here before we know it. So if you like this video, um, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on post notification bells. And what should they comment? Um, let us know what you've been warming oh, yeah. and what, what mixtures you that you've tried lately. And uh, also, if you think Dumbo and Ursula would be a good match. But that's it. Bye for now. Not forever.